Welcome back to Inverted Aviators RC. Today we're back with another completely 3D printed plane from Krakel and it is the Cub. We decided to print it in this really nice green color because we think it looks awesome, but we're gonna walk through the entire building process as well as the maiden flight. It's really fun, really easy, and we're really excited to be partnered with Krakel. So without any further ado, let's get into this build video. When it comes to bringing the Krakel Cub to life, the 3D printing process is surprisingly straightforward. The model was designed with makers in mind, so everything you need is packaged neatly into the project files. You can even load the provided Cura profile or G-code if you're using a standard Marlin printer, meaning you don't have to spend hours tweaking settings before your first print. For filament, regular PLA is more than enough. Thanks to the clever design, you don't need lightweight PLA or exotic blends unless you want to shave off a little extra weight. At the recommended settings, the finished parts weigh in at about 253 grams unassembled, and when you're ready to fly, the aircraft comes in at about 440 grams. That's light enough to keep the flight performance sharp, while still giving you a very sturdy frame. The print process itself is beginner-friendly. Parts are pre-oriented and designed with built-in support gaps, so you don't need to waste time on complicated slicer tricks. You'll still want to double-check your extrusion flow by printing one of the larger wing sections first, just to make sure your printer is all dialed in. And remember, orienting the parts at 45 degrees to the bed will give you the cleanest surfaces and help balance stress across the axes. Overall, the Krakel Cub is one of the smoother print projects out there. Between the preset profiles, the straightforward assembly, and the forgiving material requirements, it's a project that lets you spend less time wrestling with slicer settings and more time out flying. Now that we got all the parts printed, let's dive into the actual build process of the Krakel Cub V2. This is where the design really shines because it's made to go together with as little frustration as possible. First tip, keep the CA glue handy, but don't overdo it. The guide stresses using minimal glue and spraying your accelerator only on one surface before bringing the parts together. That way you don't clog up the hinge slots and weaken the structure. You'll notice on fuselage sections marked FS1 through FS3, they lock together with small pin connections that make it a lot easier to align, almost like a Lego set for RC planes. When you move to the tail section, you'll glue the elevators at a perfect 90 degrees to the rudder. It's a clever elevator bar built into the design that distributes the force evenly across both sides, so you don't have to worry if there's even a slight gap. And when it comes time to free up your control surfaces, the ailerons, rudder, and elevator flaps are designed with tiny breakaway connections. You just have to snap them free and hinge them back together with TPU hinges or CA hinge strips. Assembling the wings are also super easy because there are little push connectors that you have to slide together in order to get the wings to fit. Then just applying a little bit of CA glue on every side and then the activator spray means these wings are going to stick together really, really well. Another neat feature is the wing mounting system. The carbon fiber rod slides straight through the fuselage and there's an FS support piece that locks the spacing so the body doesn't flex over time. The guide recommends applying only a tiny bit of glue to the rod so you can remove the wings later. After that, you'll screw the wing in supports through the standard servo screws, and it's a good idea to check the flatness by laying the model upside down on the table before final tightening. Radio setup is equally straightforward. The recommended push rods are just 1mm steel wire with short ones for the ailerons and long ones for the tail. The best method is to use a Z-bend on the outside and the detachable connectors on the servo arm side. That way, you can easily pop them off for maintenance and you reduce drag on the exterior of the plane. The manual suggests running 35% expo and 75% rates, which keeps the controls responsive but forgiving, especially if this is your first Cub build. One fun fact, the V2 version was redesigned to be lighter and slower than before, making it suitable not only as a great park flyer, but as a trainer aircraft as well. And if you're flying without any FPV gear, you can use the flat hatches instead of the camera mounts to make the plane look a lot more scale. The guide even notes that you can add small amounts of weight to the nose if your CG is off, but generally it's designed to balance really easily. It's a big improvement from the V1. Overall, the build process is as much about enjoying the little details as it is about assembly. From the snap-free hinges, to the quick-release landing gear, to the pre-planned FPV mounts, every step feels intentional. 
Take your time, keep things square, and before long, you'll have a Krakel Cub V2 that's ready to take to the skies. And if you're curious about what's all going on in the background, we do live stream all of these build processes and it's really fun to communicate with everybody on the channel via these live streams. So if you're curious about how long it took, it was about two and a half hours and that was a pretty dedicated time because I really wanted to make sure we get an accurate measurement of how long this should take to go from a bucket of parts to this full plane. So this was super fun, super easy. And if you want to watch live, make sure to check out our live streams on YouTube. All right. Let's just get up in the air. Krakel says to keep this on the ground as long as possible so that build up airspeed in it. There's slightly tip stalls when you're going uh, slower. So I'm gonna try to just, let's see. All right, what do we need to trim out here? We need to have a little down elevator. It feels like it's wanting to drift. Maybe I need to fix a little rudder too. I wonder how low my rates are. I'm guessing very high with how much that just moved. Something I probably should have checked. But it is a pretty calm flyer once you get out and about. Yeah, that's pretty peaceful. Which is the goal of Cub. Again, I think it's just my throws and expo and all that stuff are super high. So everything's pretty twitchy. But when I'm just trying to glide around here, this is this is just fine. Should try to land maybe. I'll go around. Just full bore for a second. I'm moving. All right, let's get a little lower here before we come into land. Ugh. A bit, but that's because this grass is pretty long on the runway here. Can I turn? No. All right, well, cool. That's a, a first flight. So this is actually our second Krakel plane, and honestly, we're still loving everything about these builds. The Krakel Cub has been another reminder why we keep coming back to these designs. The build process is super straightforward, the parts line up beautifully, and it just takes so much guesswork out of the assembly. Printing is a breeze too. Regular PLA is all you need, which makes it super accessible. No special materials or tricky setups. The parts were designed to print clearly, so even if this is one of your first big RC projects, it's a pretty easy entry point. And once you're ready to add the electronics, the cost stays low. The motor, ESC, servos, and battery are all pretty affordable, which means you don't have to break the bank to get this plane in the air. But at the end of the day, what matters most is the flying experience. And these planes are just plain fun. They're light, stable, and that perfect balance of being forgiving for newer pilots, but still being exciting for experienced flyers. We're definitely going to be keeping Krakel planes in a regular flying rotation from here on out. And we also really appreciate our ongoing partnership with Krakel. If you're thinking about picking up these planes for yourself, we've got discount codes in the description. Use Inverted Aviators RC Kit for 5% off all kits, and Inverted Aviators RC STL for 10% off all of the files. That way you can save some money and start building your own Krakel fleet. Finally, a huge thank you to our channel members. Your support is what makes projects like this possible, and it means the world to us to be able to keep building, flying, and sharing what we love. We couldn't do it without you. And if you enjoyed this build and want to see more, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the bell so you don't miss our next flight. We've got plenty more projects coming your way, so make sure to stick around for those. This has been Inverted Aviators RC, and thank you so much for watching.